Alright, Capricorns in a nutshell. Um, Capricorns, man, they are truly the hardest working sign in the Zodiac. They are no strangers to hard work. They are the most long term minded people of the Zodiac and they're represented by the uh, mountain goat. And it ain't just the mountain goat that they're represented by, it's also the mountain. And they're they're definitely loners, you know what I'm saying? And they're very spiritual, faith based loners also. To the mountain goat, it's like you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna make it to the top of this mountain. The mountain itself represents security, success, contentment, you know, the 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 end the ending. You know what I'm saying? Like the the, the if if life is a race, the mountain top symbolizes the end of that race, which is ultimately retirement. You know, it's like you running, you running, you running, ah, uh, you you just you just run through the, the, the finish line, you know what I'm saying, victoriously. And that is the mind state of a Capricorn, you know what I'm saying? These people are very family orientated. It's all about family to them, you know what I'm saying? They're big ass babies also, you know what I'm saying? Like they are big babies, you know what I'm saying? They are very attached to their parents or their mom or their dad, you know what I mean? They're, they just have a big sense of family that's kind of unlike any other sign in the zodiac but the good qualities of a Capricorn is they're very hard workers they are not sh sh no strangers to hard work you know what I'm saying they don't mind putting that long term work in for that end result you know what I'm saying when it comes to love and the matters of the heart they will hold you down they are faithful they are fully committed to their partner but it's kinda like wishy-washy too because they are attention whores, you know what I'm saying? They are, like, they love attention from other people, you know what I mean? They love flirting, they're master flirts, you know what I'm saying? They love flirting with people, they love being flirted with, they love the attention. They can have a lover, boyfriend, girlfriend, that they're not even cheating on, not cheating on at all, you know what I'm saying? They're holding them down, but at the same time, it might seem like they creeping or cheating, but they really not, you know what I'm saying? And their lover cannot be shit. Like, they could be in love with a straight asshole. You know what I'm saying? A, a person who really ain't for them, but they'll hold them down. Until they see something uh, to where they're not going to do it. You know what I'm saying? They will hold you down until you fuck your own self up and hang yourself, basically. Like a Capricorn to give you rope to hang yourself with. But once you're hung, they're, 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 they're gone. You know what I'm saying? But they're very dedicated lovers. They're very long-term people you know what I'm saying and all that they want is trust and a sense of knowing that the person that they're investing their time into the job that they're investing their time into you know the things that they're putting their time and energy into are gonna pay off in the long run you know what I'm saying one thing that a Capricorn really really hates is just a person who tries to take them out their comfort zone or the box that they created to keep their self sane you know what I mean like they don't trust easy it takes time for you to trust a Capricorn when it comes to sex with a Capricorn they're very stingy with sex you know what I'm saying sex is very sacred to a Capricorn, you feel what I'm saying? Like you're gonna wait, you're gonna wait a uh, couple weeks, couple months, you no, know, before they'll let you in. They're very unemotional too. They are the king and queen stale faces, as I like to call it. They keep a stone stale face, the same expression. You can never read a Capricorn. You don't know how they're feeling. If they're happy, sad, or indifferent. You wouldn't know because they're good at hiding their emotions. They're good at hiding their pain. They're good at hiding, you know, they're not sensitive at all, you know what I mean? They're very conservative, but they're very strict, they're very stern, you know what I'm saying? But aside from that side, these are your adventurous people, you know what I'm saying? They love, like, they have a, a natural lust for life, like a kid, like, lust for life. They love amusement parks, they love, like, 
anything that gets their heart going, anything adrenaline based, they love. You know what I'm saying? It, it sets them kind of free in a way. You know what I mean? Anything that can make them scream and holler, whether it's like a, a roller coaster ride or you know, going to exotic vacation places. They love to travel. You know what I'm saying? They love beaches. They love exotic places. They love exotic people. You know what I'm saying? They don't invest in mediocre or simple things. You know what I'm saying? It's always over the top with a Capricorn. Also, they got to be fresh. Like, they're like Leos as far as, like, how they dress. Like, they got to be in the finest linens. You know what I'm saying? They got to have the finest jewelry. They will pay money for, you know, they'll, they'll pay money to look good. You know what I'm saying? And they don't, they're not cheap. This, uh, this ain't the cheap sign either. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't do cheap dates. They don't do cheap thrills. You know what I'm saying? They are not to be taken lightly. Like, you're not going to take a Capricorn to, like, the Motel 6 to get it on or Motel or something like that. Nah, they're, like, five-star restaurant, five-star hotel people. You feel what I'm saying? And they don't mind dropping money on themselves or on their mates or going over the top. You know, everything is over the top with a Capricorn, but they can be very vindictive on the flip side. They can be very manipulative. They will, like like Sadges, will cut you to get to the top real quick because at the end of the day, it's about getting to the top. You know what I mean? They just want to get to that mountaintop. You know what I mean? You might not get there with them, but they're going to get there by any means. And because of their go get it attitude, it's like horses with blinders. You know what I'm saying? They're so focused on succeeding they're so focused on success that they miss out on life they miss out people that they should have been with they miss out on opportunities that they should have taken advantage of they miss out on really living life to the fullest because of staying in a that comfort zone that they built around for themselves which is good for them to, to make sure they successful and keep them focused but they miss out on a lot in life and the best people for Capricorns are people who are more spontaneous who can really show them what they're missing you know what I'm saying cuz at the end of the day they just want somebody to share their life with you know what I'm saying the biggest thing that I heard of cap is that they've become successful they finally made it to that mountaintop but they have nobody to share that with or they have nobody that they can actually live and experience and, and just go through things with they'll say that they'll be alone and that's okay they ain't tripping or none of that but in reality, they want to be loved and they want to share. They, they're givers and they want to share at the end of the day. So, you know, prime workers, excellent, professional, conservative people. They don't do no big spending. They might indulge a lot on like spending and investing in themselves. But these are not the people who just blow money. You know what I'm saying? They're real calculated on their finances. They're real calculated on who they give their time and energy to, but they give a lot of their time and a lot of their energy to people. They're real socialites and they just love the attention. They just love attention to a fault to where, you know, they kind of overly give themselves to people who aren't worth their time and energy and they're just late bloomers and they find out at the end of the day and make mistakes at the end of the day that they're not really going to recoup from or learn from until late. You know what I'm saying? And that's pretty much Capricorn in a nutshell. Okay, you know what I'm Virgos, um, they're kind of like opposite of Capricorn as far as the Earth sign is concerned. They're more, more like emotional. They're more sociable. And they're more like, I would say, possess more skill sets. Um, Virgo is represented by the Virgin, you know, which means that everything, kind of like Capricorn, everything is sacred, you know, to a, Vir a Virgo. Sex is sacred. Um, friends are sacred, you know what I'm saying? Family is sacred, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's a real deep connection that they have with everything around them. You know what I'm saying? Another thing about Virgos, they age gracefully. You feel what I'm saying? Virgos be like 60 years old, still looking good. You know what I'm saying? Still keeping themselves up to part. Another sign that gets better with age are like Leos and Sagittarius. You know what I'm saying? Leo, Sagittarius, Caps, and, and, and Virgos. You know what I'm saying? They are 
they age flawlessly. But nobody ages flawlessly like the Virgo. And Virgos are very talented also. You know what I'm saying? They can sing, play some type of instrument. They have some type of skill set that they bring to the world. You know what I'm saying? And they know the skill sets that they have. And they know how to use those skill sets to make it in the world. You know what I'm saying? They're very spiritual. They're very self-conscious also. And more than anything, they're just very emotional and very sensitive. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're so emotional that it's almost like most Virgos have, like, stomach problems. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, uh, like, like they're very tense. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's almost like knots in their stomach because their emotions affect them so bad to where it just, it, 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 it kind of tenses them up inside. You know what I'm saying? They just got so much to give to the world and they just want to give themselves fully to the world or to their lover or to their job or to their cause. You feel what I'm saying? They're very overly dedicated people with a lot of stuff to bring to the table. But, you know, positives and negatives with a Virgo, it's like, you know, on a positive note, like I say, dedication, you know, a focus a Virgo can like can exceed can 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 really go far you know what I'm saying they're very in tune with like nature with elements you know they love like crystals and incense and earth tones and you know environmentally friendly people you know what I mean they drink like healthy water and eat healthy foods you know what I'm saying they're very conscious of what they put in their bodies you know what I'm saying because their body is a temple you know what I'm saying and as much as you might not think so, but Virgos, like I said, they treat sex very sacred. You know what I'm saying? It's hard for them to trust people, but when they do trust people, they give they all into this person. Like, so much to where it affects them mentally or physically. You feel what I'm saying? They also have a need to be noticed. You know what I'm saying? They also seek attention. They love the attention. They love compliments. They love, you know... Good things being said about them. They hate being a butt of jokes. They hate being a laughing stock or a joke to people. You know what I'm saying? Because they're very self-conscious like Leo. And words can hurt them. You know what I'm saying? Um, they hate trying and trying and trying just to fail. You know what I'm saying? That hurts a Virgo too. But what really hurts a Virgo the most is not being able to share their skill sets and their gifts with the world. You know what I'm saying? Not being able to voice themselves or, or, or give themselves to where they want to give themselves to, if that makes any sense. You know what I'm saying? On a negative side, they could be a bit thirsty for that attention. They could be a bit drawn to negative people in negative situations. You know what I'm saying? Trouble seems to kind of find Virgos because they're so emotional and the vibration that they give from their passion and their and their emotions and, and, and just the way that they look at life that it's easy for them to attract bad things you know what I'm saying and like I said they have a very faith based mindset towards success but they can also be like Leo's hard on themselves they can actually beat themselves to a pulp to where they can't even really help themselves because you know they've you know allow outside influences to affect them personally you know what I'm saying? Another thing about Virgos is, you know, they can be a little bit too sociable. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, ain't nothing wrong with socializing. Ain't nothing wrong with getting to know new people. But just like the Capricorn, you know what I'm saying? They just, it's, it's just like they, you know, they're always into something. They're always like meeting new people. They always love just basking in the attention and, and the ambience of a social scene you know what I'm saying these are real social people man they love to turn up and love having a good time and they believe having the best of everything you know what I'm saying the best items the best materials the best mates the best clothes the best whatever you know what I'm saying they deserve the best they feel like they deserve it and like I say they're represented by the virgin so they have that kind of victimizing like playing a victim kind of the martyr kind of role sometimes you know what I'm saying it's like what was me kind of you know what I'm saying kind of melodramatic like the Leo you know what I mean kind of like 
like me, Leo, you know what I'm saying? They're very melodramatic and they can seem to drag problems on a little bit further than where they need to be dragged. You know what I'm saying? Also, um, what you need to know about the Virgo is that they are very, very brilliant. They're very smart. They overanalyze like Leo's also. They share a lot of commonalities with Leo since they come after Leo. But given that they're earth sign, they're way more grounded, they're way more conservative than a Leo might be. They don't do things on impulse. They're very long term also. Long term goal orientated. You know what I'm saying? They, they aren't big spenders, but they do overindulge. You know what I'm saying? And when I say by long term based, it's just like, you know, they're always thinking about the end game. You know, is this going to be worth my while at the end of the day? At the end of the day, are the things that I'm doing going to get me where I want to be in life? You know what I'm saying? And they can be a little vague and a little vain. And they kind of take advantage of their beauty. You know, their sexiness. You know what I'm saying? They get a lot off on their charm. They Like, like Capricorns, they know how to manipulate people to by using like their looks, their beauty, their presence to get things that they want to get out of life but as a sign in general these are your beautiful caring considerate you know spiritual very very talented signs man they always have something to bring to the table and they always keep a spiritual mindset on life you know what I'm saying they don't believe in not having a higher power they don't believe in like you know coincidences you know they believe they, they overanalyze like the Leo like it's always an excuse for something not an excuse but it's always an explanation put it that way for things you know what I'm saying and they try to find that explanation you know what I'm saying they they will will, 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 will overindulge and overthink things through just to figure out life they, they have a real knack for trying to figure out life and everything in it you know what I'm saying and, and, and basically that's like a Virgo I gotta take shit. my hat off for, 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 for Tauruses, man, because Leos and Taurus don't really get along, mainly because probably I'm a lion and you're a bull, and you look like food, and I look like a threat, so, you know, um, I don't know, they just always get me wrong, you know what I mean, everything I say is just be offending them and all that stuff, so, I mean, shout, shout out to the to the Tauruses, let me, let me break it down for y'all real quick, um, Tauruses don't take no shit. They're not to be played with. They're not to be bamboozled. They're not to be scammed on, ran on, none of that. You know, just be cool and let them let them be. That's the best way to sum up a, a Taurus. Just let me be and watch me get it out here. They're definitely Earth signs, which means that they're conservative. They're, more, they're grounded, spiritually grounded. They're real spiritual too. And, and and they have a real keen sense of what's important in life and what's not important in life. And they just have a short temper for BS. And, and bull and wool being pulled over people's eyes. And they're very family orientated. They go hard for family. They go as hard as Leo's will go for their family. They go hard for their family. And they're about their business. They take care of business and, and, and make business look good. Shout out to y'all Taurus, because especially females, y'all y'all on y'all business. I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? Taurus is not shit on y'all could be bullheaded. Real stubborn to the point where you turn people off. You know what I'm saying? You turn situations off because y'all will take it to the next level. Like y'all will take the earrings off and get the mess in the chick up. Y'all will write checks that your ass can't cash. You know what I'm saying? You might can't cash it, but it's going to affect you because of a little impulse that you guys have as far as expression, anger, and just and just really de defending your place in life. You know what I'm saying? Y'all real low key, real low key, you know, good Good energy. Y'all really got stamina too. You know what I'm saying? Not as much as the cap, but y'all got good stamina and pretty much ready for the ride. Y'all morph and adapt and gel with any situation. You know what I'm saying? You guys are real 
hard, like real hard working, real smart, and real eager to just make a stamp on life. You know what I'm saying? Y'all very long term minded as far as relationships. It's definitely long term. Your job, you definitely want it to be long term. Your friends, you definitely want them to be long term. You don't like nothing short term because to you it's not worth it and it's not right in your heart. It just don't settle down with you. Fakeness, that's why fakeness don't settle down with you. That's why bullshit, it hurts your nose. You know what I'm saying? It, it, when it comes your way, you just get offended. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't need it in your life. You try to stay positive and you try to stay as much um, focus on the big picture as it is possible. Socially, y'all cool. Y'all love friends. You love bringing people together. But at the same time, you love being sheltered and secure in your own domains. Door, do, domain, excuse me, domain. Um, to Taurus, the, they're like lions with dens. Best place the Taurus can be is sitting at the crib with their lovers, with their the person that they love the most. Could be their kids, could be their good friends, family, whatever. And it's just chilling. Good vibes. Y'all give out great vibes. You know what I'm saying? You just want you just want to see people smile. You just want to see people having a good time. You just want to bring positivity together for it to be cool and you don't want it to get ugly because like I said don't nobody want nothing to get ugly on the tourist presence because they will be the first ones to smack five out you they're not they don't got like attitudes it's not you know <coughs> people say they're bossy people say they're vindictive they're not as vindictive as Capricorn but they just don't take no shit they don't just don't please don't come at them with no BS because they will you know what I'm saying? Redirect that energy real quick. They will set the record straight real quick. They'll be the first to stop you where you at with your with your drama and, and tell you what it is and what it ain't. And they're very. They, that's why they make real good leaders as far as like military, government, <coughs> like group settings. You know what I'm saying? Like managers. Not saying they like telling people what to do, but they carry out their job to the best of its ability. And they will use every resource in their power to help a person out. You know. Little or big thing. It doesn't it's there is no range when it comes to a tourist. Help is help. Support is support. Love is love. Work is work. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? With with a with a with a tourist, so you know, and they're just great, genuine, loving people. They can be a little a little drama side, a little messy. You know what I mean, just they like to start a little thing, but nothing too much that's gonna get out of hand. You know, they they control the little bit of drama that they do put in, but they're generally good people, hard workers, loving, caring, family oriented, and they just don't take no mess, cause they ain't got time for it, and they will let you know exactly what time it is. Also, so that's Earth signs in a nutshell. Shout out to you, boy.